Check one, two, check one, two. Audio, one. <laughs> Why do they always say check one, two, check one, two? Why do they not keep counting? I don't know. I think most of them can't get past two. I don't know. I think most of them can't get past two. Not really. So, uh, I'm like a spokes model here. We're going to let some people get online and we'll start. This is our... Hey, what's up, Bushcraft? We'll get online and we'll start. This is our... Hey, what's up, Bushcrafter channel? This is our um, beer of the day. We'll get to that in a little bit, though. What we want to... What we want to know is, can you hear me? Okay. How about me? Better this time? Pardon, can you hear me and can you hear him better? Please swap that. Um, Airbuds. Air, Airpods? Airpods. Watching live. Not from the Nobody can hear you. Because you mumble. No, I don't. Can you hear me now? No, I don't. Can you hear me now? What's up, York PA? Now, we told my wife, <clears throat> Mrs. Wolak, to message us if she can hear us. Yeah. <clears throat> and We're a minute in, and... Uh, zero from the missus. And not well, other guy, better. Oh, which other guy is this, or this is the other guy? But not Dan. We're both Dan. Yeah. And Wolak, not so much. Let me see that one. Maybe it only goes off to one. <clears throat> Check. We're going to get this worked out, everybody. I know people can't stick through a minute 40 because it gets absolutely. Well, Brooke, thanks for joining. And now we already switched to AirPods around. Thanks, Brooke. Two minutes in. I guess I'll have to yell. She's Is fired. Her? No more CEO. CEO. You're fired. Unbelievable. All right. So. What we'll do is um, you got to speak louder because they'll pick okay. you up in here. Low battery. And Oh, I didn't plug it in. This is all part of technical difficulties, people. <clears throat> I'll, try to, I'll try to talk louder. Okay, better. So here's what I got to say. I said put the earbud back in. So a couple quick updates on just some stuff going on. Number one. I'm just at the current time using not the best technology for a live stream. So at some point, very soon, since we like doing this format, we're going to have our better camera and um, everything will be switched out. He'll have a mic. I'll have a mic. I wanted to put two Lazy Boy recliners with a fireplace in the middle. <laughs> you think that's overboard? No, I, I find it very appropriate. <laughs> okay. So... Um, all right, so we'll get started then, and then if people aren't here already, hold on. Okay, the CEO just showed up. We don't, both earbuds or one earbud? One in each of you, where? Oh, James. That's good. All right, now we're going back to one earbud. The CEO just yelled at us. At least we're allowed to drink on a job. Okay, so here's what we got going on. Um updates overall like i said we're good youtube camera right good microphones yeah i need a connection and there's a certain thing i got to do which i know everything i need i just didn't order it yet to get the camera set up and then we'll really be dialed in and it won't look crappy and stuff like that yeah. because audio because video and audio really gotta go hand in hand yeah like bushcraft and beer. <laughs> exactly. So beginning of every show, just some updates on what's going on. And I even made a list here. I'm going to try to stick to this the best we can. Um, so at the shop, what do we got going on? Something cool, which I'm going to show you a little bit later. Gum blankets should be back in stock next week. So that's always great because they go quick. We will have the ones with and without neck slits this time. So if you're looking for either, they'll be back in. T-shirts, I've been printing all week. So we're back stocked with all our T-shirts. So if you didn't get one, you want to check out that. Um, no new gear in. We didn't get anything. Um, the Dutch tarps will be in. I just talked to them today. They should be in about a week and a half. So the few people that pre-ordered them, which they were special people if you're watching, um, they'll get shipped out as soon as I get them. The other stuff will go on the site. 
And uh, I think that's about it for that. Videos, ton of good videos coming up. I just started doing some trapping videos. That will spun some people up. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait for that. You know when people get very upset about that. Yeah, they hate it. They get emotionally charged. This is where I'm at. They get emotionally charged because they're home and they can go to a supermarket and have food. Now, not that I can't do that, but should we just forget the skill and never teach it to anybody or you? I mean, it just, it gets out of control. But anyway, good trapping videos coming, some woodworking videos coming. So that stuff is being filmed because next week I had the Bushman class all week. Now that class, how excited you for that? Blacksmithing, hardcore, like working with logs and timber. Um, shooting guns, trapping. Oh, I can't That's wait. Awesome. It's yep. going to be awesome. Whoever signed up for the class, you're in for a treat, buddy. Yeah. So uh, we got that coming on. So I think that's about it. Events, Harrisburg Sportsman Show coming up real, real soon. That's going to be interesting. Yeah, I'm excited about that. I want to put a leather couch in the area, but the area's not big <laughs> enough. You like that I was like recliners yeah. and leather couches. Yeah. Um, a little one out of beach one. <laughs> yeah, there was so much lacquer on that thing. Of course, it went up in flames. Um, it, something like that. Uh, okay, this is the guy. Leads somebody just commented about the ketchup and the hot dogs. Communist. Um, <laughs> so, all right, let's get the beer of the week. That's what I've been waiting for. Now, I will say this. So we went today to one of the six pack shops where you can pick out beers. That way, if we don't like the beer. We're not stuck with four extras. Okay. Here's the problem. When anything pumpkin happens, the best way to deal with it is throw it in the woods. Just dump it. Uh, we can't handle pumpkin, but we got a pumpkin ale just for everybody's viewing pleasure. Now, is it going to be good or not? I had Susquehanna Brewing Company, which isn't too far from here. Other beers that they had, delicious. So let's, um, again, Susquehanna Brewing Company, pumpkin ale. It's brewed with pumpkin and spices. It's going to be like an explosion of pumpkin mouth, pumpkin mouth, pumpkin <laughs> pie in your mouth. Yeah. Let's read the side because they always have something real um, nifty on there. Yeah. Okay, so um, this is the pumpkin ale. People beer by beer people. Ah, oh, fall. That colorful time of year when Americans pile into the family station wagon on a mission to pick the prettiest pumpkin in the patch to take home and carve a scary face into. Okay, John Brown. <laughs> you don't think I'm reading good? I know you are, because I'm reading it with you. Well, <laughs> well, we must admit we've never been too good at carving, but we've been pretty good at turning a simple pumpkin into a tasty pumpkin ale. How long? I don't feel like they've been doing that that long, but, uh, no. beyond the point. And that's exactly what we've done here. This one's got the right amount of spice. I used to work for 1-800 number in colleges. I'm joking. <laughs> Just enough to inspire anyone to give a pumpkin carving one more try. So if you'd excuse us, the family wagon awaits. People wow. beer by beer people. Yeah. I'm scared because I don't think pumpkin stuff in general is my most favorite thing. No. And I did a video once with... Uh, he did. He almost puked. He threw it in the woods. Yeah, so, um, disgusting. okay. You ready? Uh, yeah. We, uh, bottle opener. Bottle opener. Is that a bottle opener? Oh, look at you. <laughs> I always carry a bottle opener. Yeah? On my neck. Oh, with that? With the orange ship? Yeah. On there? Yeah. What if you lose this when you're drunk? You got quarters. Oh, I got something even better. If you're going to drink beer, right? <laughs> bush drinking. Now we're not in the bush, yeah. but the shirts are done. Boom, they're on the website. There you go. That's awesome. Right? Yeah. I worked on these babies all into the night last night just they, to get them pumped out. And there's them. more upstairs waiting. Oh, I guess I'd get one. No. no. So, uh, bush drinking shirts are done. Check it out. All right. Now back to that. But no, I mean, you don't carry, do you not carry this on your neck? I, I personally don't. You're lost. How are you going to get in your beer then? I don't know. Maybe I'll, just I'll share. No. no? Okay. This table is built high as we'll reiterate from last week because I'm tall and it works good for me. Yeah, perfect for him. So. Give it a sniffy. Uh -oh. Yep, that's spicy. It doesn't. I made a real weird face. I know. 
it was probably a good wait a minute it doesn't even smell like pumpkin i feel like pumpkin stuff doesn't taste like pumpkin it smells like it smells like the spice it doesn't yeah smell it smells like spicy it. yeah i just puked in the back of my mouth yeah. not because of the the company it's because i'm just gonna pour it wait to drive you right over a pink clip <laughs> It looks like a pumpkin. Oh, is there something floating in mine? <laughs> what is that? It's no, it's all right. I thought it was a chunk of pumpkin. That would have pushed yeah. me right over the edge. How about it? Look who worked on his beer pulling skills. Could have Never mind, I had one too many beers already. Okay, I'll leave the bottle in just in case. So if you are just joined us, what you're wondering, Susquehanna Brewing, Susquehanna Brewing Company, pumpkin ale. Beer people for beer people. Right. I don't know. Here's the throwing up in your mouth. I'm here. I don't have anything to say about it. I got to let it settle in. So here's the thing it's the, it's like the first. <laughs> I don't think you have to let it breathe like a fine champagne or anything. Here's what I'm going to say though. I don't think my first sip of it was not bad. I can't say that it was bad. What do you think? Like your first impression, you first hit your mouth, not, not bad at all. I don't like the spice taste afterwards. Like, like I feel like right. I just like opened like my grandmother's spice drawer and it like everything fell in my mouth. Yeah. I don't know what's, what's happening. Right now? Is it's in my beard. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe because I just can't find a punk. Here's the thing. <laughs> here's my here's my thing. When I first drink it, and it's just on my tongue, right? The first notes, I guess you would call that. Yeah. I like it. Oh my god! Here we go again. Listen, take the first sip and tell me what you think. And then I don't like the aftertaste. I don't like the aftertaste. No, I don't think they do that with beer. Uh, some of them do. They're crazy. Yeah. So here's my thing. I, it's a very clean. It's not hoppy. It's not. There's nothing too crazy about this beer. All I don't like is the after notes of that. The spice. The spice. I agree. But I mean, if that's if that's the pumpkin, mm -hmm. if that was people go after pumpkin is the spice, I just spit all over you. <laughs> um, then that got it. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I mean, On a like scale it, one to ten, I I'm giving it a three. <laughs> well, that's okay. I give it a five. It's just because, like, it's, like I said, I'm not a pumpkin. Yeah, I think that's what it is. But we had to try. What happened was at the beer store today with Dan. It was like, oh, here's a porter, here's a stout. Let's get. And I said, we need to change it up. We need to change it for the audience's excitement, and for us to expand our horizons on beer. Now, a lot of people gave very good suggestions. I got a lot of personal messages and a lot of comments on the beers. So I wrote all those down. So as I'm at beer stores and traveling around, I'm going to try to get all that stuff. But um bump. What's up? Uh, hi, I'm Japanese bushcraft. I like your video. Oh. All right. Thanks, thanks Japanese much. bushcraft. Um Shrogs, Matt Elf, they had Matt that Elf. there. I had Matt. See, so here's another part of the whole the beers and bushcraft i feel like if we drank the beers already i'm not going to reintroduce it on here yeah, yeah maybe yeah. down the road yeah. Yeah. but i feel like now we see these crazy beers we got a couple other ones so we have for the next few weeks but oh update because we have the bushman class next week we'll probably just do a short bushcraft and no beers yeah I think we are. because we're going to be teaching responsible but we can probably do that because Will we be able to do that? I, I mean, it depends on what's happening at, at the class. So next week might not happen. It's not because we don't want it to happen, but definitely the week after is going to happen overall. So I think, uh, I don't know. I don't want to give it a three. I feel bad now that I'm giving it a three. I feel bad for Susquehanna Brewing Company because I know that they make some good beers. Well, I don't think our negative review is really going to diminish their maybe they'll, maybe they'll see it and want to sponsor yeah, it and send us a whole, and... they'll send us a whole like... Sampler sampler yeah. and we'll drink every one we'll do like a three hour marathon session oh, it won't take us email them tomorrow they won't understand what you're writing them but yeah, probably not they'll meet a thesaurus just to figure it out 
and then therapy probably. See, I if I got that at a pl- I mean, I had to pay for. It. I didn't pay yet for the beers, but no. um, that yeah, is I not. I would not order. I would not order. <laughs> I, I wouldn't order two of those beers at a restaurant or a bar. I would move on to the next yeah. thing. Yeah. I agree. I would not. I mean, it's not the worst thing ever. And it's probably this is probably the last of it. I like that it's light. If it was much lighter, it wouldn't be good. But it doesn't have any crazy notes or anything no, in it. No. Like I said, I think being uh, where are we? Uh, December. Well, we're almost in. December. Almost in December. So, well, you're. I think that's a seasonal. So that ends like around well, this time. Thank the now, Lord. Yeah. Now you'll start getting into spruce flavor. And, <laughs> like, spruce beer um, is those? pretty rough. Uh, yeah. 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 We'll make that one. Uh, well, wait, Duclaw. So somebody just wrote about Duclaw, like um, Sweet Baby Jesus and stuff like that. Yeah. Good beers. Yeah. Um, spruce beer was from a place down by Philly. It was like Thomas Jefferson Spruce Ale or something. Yeah, I would spit that right back. I'd puke. That was the most disgusting thing I've ever drank. In. But there are other two porters. They had a porter and an ale. Thomas, no. Thomas Jefferson? No. And... Who had the spruce then? Thomas Jefferson Ale, yeah. George Washington Stout, Stout, and then some other president that I guess Frank, nobody cares Frank, about. Franklin? Well, whoever it was, if that was his choice of beer. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Anderson? Yeah. What number was he? Huh. You just made that up. It yeah. sounded like a president's name. Yeah, it sounded like a good president's Okay, name. so um, Yards. You got it. Uh, there you yards. go. Yards is good. That's who makes the things. Yeah, they make the, the presidential beers. Um, uh, there's Jody. Oh, we're, hey, Jody. We're deleting you from the show. All right, there you go. Yeah. Say good night. Okay. <laughs> so, um, okay. So, I think that's it for the beers. I don't know if I'm gonna finish the beer even, to be honest with you. I'll probably finish the beer. Um, okay. So, what's new at life? Here's what I want you to tell everybody about. It has nothing to do with bushcrafting. Tell them how you cannot control yourself behind the wheel of a vehicle. Just to, you don't have to go into detail, but just explain to them how you can't control your fine motor skills or just your in your I don't know rage. It's like a violent component like to to just go from point A to point B like most people do. This doesn't seem to happen. I fucking can't stand it. Two tickets, one fucking month. <laughs> Watch your mouth. There might be kids watching. Bleep that out. So all he does is get pulled over because he has no control. So then he complains about it. And I'm like, well, this wouldn't happen if you drove like me. Cause I drive like an old woman, two miles an hour or old man, whatever way you want to take it. Super slow. And do I, I drive slow. You do. You and I use my turn driving. signals and I stop at stop signs. I use signals. There's two, two there's two stop, stop signs at the, the town. not this town, but the town that the school property's in. He gets pulled over. I didn't even know they had cops in that town. They don't. They did last night. <laughs> so, <laughs> do a good deed. Go to visit some relatives. Have a little chat and coffee. No beer. Coffee. Thank God, because that probably would have... Yeah, oh, you'd have been in jail. If he called me that he was in jail, I'd let him there for a day or two. It would be hilarious yeah. to me. But, uh, yeah. So that's what's new in your life. Yeah. So, hey... Anybody who's getting a Christmas present, you're not getting one. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. So Sam that's took it. A shit. All right, my double money. So yeah. I'm not getting nothing for Christmas. I'm not even. I did. I got two tickets for Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. All I want for Christmas is two tickets. Yeah. So that's what's new in his <laughs> life overall. Me, I'm just grinding away with everything. So I don't have anything new exciting. But I do like to do a segment that I get any new gear this week or anything like that. Well, my gear purchase this week. Well, it sort of happened last week. Trump, any gear purchase. Because I got a new van. Oh. Big, black, Dodge, 2500 Promaster. I could stand up in the back. It is a beast. I had to get rid of the war wagon. I took it to the junkyard. Got a couple bucks for it. You could but have gave it to me because my car truck falling apart. The war wagon never broke down. So I I paid 1900 bucks for it. <laughs> I drove it. I drove it for 10 years, never once broke down, never had a flat tire in it, nothing. And I ended up selling the van for, I got like four or something. So 1500 bucks for four years, for 10 years, 
I mean, that's a great deal. So, uh, yeah, that was it. So that was like my gear purchase and what's new. So now I'm like trying to figure out the back of the van, how to organize. I'm real organized with everything. Super OCD. You can't tell here. I don't think if you, I don't think this scene does justice, but everything is organized. Yeah. Uh, maybe in my own mind, and, and I, but everything's labeled. I was going to say, like, if, like all those boxes over there, all labeled, like all my cookware. Now this isn't everything. We'll just say that. Yeah, this is. But this is like the bush pots I use, kettles I use. Then these are like kettle pots, and then these are like big water bottles, small water bottles. Yeah. Like frost. Guys, I said that word. That's pretty good. Good. So uh, that was my big gear purchase. Dan was going to go with the mummy pod that I did a gear review on. Yeah. He missed the sale on it. Yeah, He's sale. back and forth with me. Should I do? it? Should I not do? I was like, yeah, just go, just get it. And, I missed it. So, and he missed it. So now I, what are you going to do? Over quilt, under quilt. Or back to the mummy pod. I'm going to go back to the mummy pod. I'll probably be running on my credit card. <laughs> and further in debt. Um, unless one of you fine people would like to make donations to my uh, Don't Get a Fucking Ticket to Fund anymore this month, please uh, go fund me danjvan.com. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, that means you, Jody. So you didn't, so no fresh gear. Nothing that you're no. like, I got, you got a hat today. Oh, I just bought this hat. Yeah. Right from coldcrackerbushcraft.com. And uh, you get this really cool pick. Oh, ding, 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 ding. I think that's about it yeah. for gear. On gear. Uh, nothing else that I can think of. Because sometimes I get some cool stuff in, but I'm like, Pretty sweet. I did get this. Well, no, I don't want to show it. I can do a video on that. Uh, yeah. No, I don't. don't I don't think. Doing a video on that. So, so yeah. All this isn't here. This is an invisible wall. <laughs> oh, that, the background falls down. There's like some kid looking in a window. <laughs> um, so yeah. All right. So I think we basically covered what's new. Yeah. Here's the question of the day. Okay. Favorite part of bushcrafting? Like overall, what's your favorite part? And maybe it was something. What am I stepping on? Oh, the sweatshirt I threw off. Like maybe it was something like you used to love and then it like evolved into something. I'll give you an example. This is mine. I don't have anything. I'm not sure right at the moment. Mine is just a big bubble. I like everything. So when I first started, I loved when I would, I hate it when you, when you first start a new skill. Like, say it's flint and steel. Like, when I first started it, you just don't, like, you're getting it, but it's like, you sort of get it. Yeah. Then one day you get it, and, like, you know it. Yeah. Now, you, you're not 100% on it, but you're like, oh, this is awesome. Yeah. Like, that whole beginning phase when you're just learning new stuff, yeah. love it. Yeah. Then it sort of goes to the wayside because stuff like fire making. And, like, I was thinking today, because I was shooting videos today. So it was stuff like fire making let's say making a cook kitchen, cutting a branch because you need it for like to like makeshift something. Yeah. It's, I don't want to, it's like second nature now. Like I'm like, oh, I just got to do it and I do it. So I'm on a new, bigger, better things, but I miss that part of, because them real simple things I loved. Yeah. Like I loved like when I was like first really getting into it and I make a fire to fair rod, I'm like, oh my God. Yeah, you like the experience of not knowing the outcome. Yeah. So now it's like, this is what I run into. So a lot of them things we teach all the time in the classes. So it's like, I do it all the time. So when I go out by myself, it's like over the top stuff. It's probably stuff people aren't going to be interested in because most people, I don't want to say aren't at that level, but they're like, they don't get out probably near as much as me. So I'm like, if I can make 40 fires a week, just because I need them for other projects and I'm going to make like a big saw buck bench and i'm using auger yeah. bits and this stuff it's like what's this guy doing yeah. that's how i feel at least mm -hmm. so um but so that was probably my most exciting so right now my most exciting part of like what i like most about well now all right so i like that gear i love gear like who doesn't love getting a good piece of gear no one nobody likes it no, no everybody I mean, likes I mean, it everybody like, everybody loves no it. no one doesn't like oh yeah yeah so that, and then mm -hmm. I like, my favorite right now is when it's just, when we're teaching people to do stuff. Right. 
and they get it. And you see the light bulb go on. I'm like, yeah, because I know, like, because I could see myself when I was doing, I'm like, oh, I got it. They get it. And you see that at classes all the time. So that's awesome. Jody didn't get anything yet. What? So now, side note, you can't take what I took because I know it probably led you down that path. Yeah. What do you love about it? Yeah. I don't know why I keep drinking this. I don't, I don't know. Do you need water? Nah, me alcohol would. I guess it's. Oh, here. You could have some oh, of that. I'm learning something. Oh, yeah. Copper seed. I guess a free bottle of copper seed. Not to him me, because I said copper seed. I said it three times, so I should get three bottles. So, all right. Um, What do you think? Yeah. I like it. Right. On the bushcraft stuff. Yeah, on the bushcraft. Um, you didn't even take a hit of it. That's all right. Should do a shot glass. Go ahead. Tell everybody what's up. Right. Yeah, it's hard because you, you take all the good answers. No. Yeah, because you're. I got to put you on the spot. I, know. I like learning new skills. Like, um, like the, uh, <clears throat> even though I, I, I do do it, the palm thing. Oh, yeah. Well, when we did that at the class, I could tell you, like, you were into it. You were like, yeah. yeah like, you were into it. Because then we, so we had a navigation clinic this summer. Two parts. The second part, we did all, like, palm methods. So, ma- like, mapping the area. We had to map our school property. So, the students loved it. So, he's so into it. He's at our advanced class. He's like, Let, let's get them after it. Let's get them after it. <laughs> so, yeah. No, I mean, I think at the end of the day, just the, in general, everybody likes learning this stuff yeah. with everything. And gear. And gear. I mean, obviously, gear. Yeah. I wish but it's, was here because he's the gear guru. We call our buddy Mike Asper the uh, gear guru. Because so, if he knew, he's got it. Yeah. Or, so I don't have to really even buy anything. Just check out his yeah. and then make a decision from there. Even it's like... It's in, like, Shark Tank and it's just getting reviewed <laughs> to be made. He is yeah, contact. Yeah. Sorry, Gasper. We love you. Yeah. Yeah, this is from Townsend. This is uh, a little jigger. Check oh, that yeah. thing out. I put some whiskey in there I for know, you. I on oh, did you? Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's about it, I think. So back to the beer. Back to the beer. Is it better that it's cooling down, like no. getting warm? Pumpkin ale really destroys copper seed. Sorry, copper seed. I mean, this is really good. This is really bad. Now I got a really bad flavor in my mouth. This is bad? This makes this taste bad. Go ahead and try both. No. Because it's a really tragic experience. Because this is delicious on its own. <laughs> Sipping whiskey, oh, to die for. Um, Yeah, so the beer, again, if you just joined us, Susquehanna Brewing Company, Pumpkin Ale. If you love pumpkin, maybe go for it. Like when the pumpkin lattes or whatever come out at Dunkin' Donuts, count me out. Uh, Jody, you're not fishing at all. You're cut off. You're not allowed near the pond. So we're getting that out in the open. Because you said he's going for the big bass in the, in the pond. Oh. All right. Um, so next on the list was gear of the week. So we already went over my van. We'll have yeah. to post a picture of the van. Yeah. Panorama. It's so big. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Here's a little story. I, I go to the beach and I do a panoramic picture of the beach. He's awesome. I send it to his dad to print out. <laughs> he works crazy with me because I sent him this picture and I'm like, well, why can't you print it? He goes, because it's 75 feet long. I said, can't you shrink it? <laughs> I don't know much about filming. Except ATM Productions. Unbelievable. But Unbelievable. That was a little funny. So thing. let's see some comments here. Are they coming up on here? Yeah, yeah. So you fun. guys want to ask us some questions here and we'll answer them because that sometimes gets us on a tangent. So that whiskey is from New York. It's some one of our friends that come to our school. So go to Copper C. Can you see that? I know there's a glare there, guys. Uh, yeah. Can you see it? There. 
Copper Sea Distillery out of New York, um, Hudson Valley, New York. Absolutely awesome and uh, great whiskey for sure. And I think you can only buy it in New York. You cannot get it delivered or order it online. I tried, and if my name's not his, I don't get crap. Because <laughs> I was going to get him a bottle for Christmas. I hear you. I learned. Well, he said, no, you well, have to come to the distillery. Yeah. All right. Um, let's see. Somebody asked if I need to do more videos with Townsend's. Uh, I do want to do more videos with them. I was actually just thinking about that the other day because I had a good time out there filming. So I think I'm going to hit them up again and see if we can do some more stuff and see what's up. Oh, what's up, Corporal's Corner? <laughs> oh, now you're online. Solid. Two bucks. Yeah. Yeah. So that's cool. Um, when will we get a tour to Trappin House? Oh, I forgot. I literally just now I see I totally forgot. Um that video so we'll have to do that video here shortly because there's something coming up with the trapping house big in the spring big he doesn't even know how big it is just happened so um (laughs) somebody's like two dollars for proper beer yeah well two dollars for the garbage man to take this away (laughs) i'm gonna puke outside after this episode (laughs) all right let's scroll here and see how about a cold weather canoe expedition video? Well, that sounds like a good idea. The canoe's just sitting there anyway. Mm-hmm. What I will say is somebody flipped out when I did the canoe video. Right. Now, the video was like seven minutes. Like, yeah. it was literally just clipped together. Yeah. I like making a video. Yeah. That, it was hot that day. Was that the day we went? Was it hot? It was pretty warm. Yeah. No, it wasn't warm. It wasn't- but somebody flipped out because they're like, you're not wearing a life jacket. You're going to oh, die. Yeah. And I was like... Yeah. You can't do anything right for people. Yeah. As Hilarious. Long as, it, as long as the vest is in your canoe because it is used as a flotation device. I was kneeling on it for the picture and somebody yeah. flipped out. Yeah. I just like to tell those stories for you and overall. Canoe, so that doesn't matter. All right. Um, There's a bunch <laughs> back with beers, beers, beers. Okay. Beers. Well, I like when people give the beer ideas to stuff. And uh, all right. Bombproof bushcraft. Finding Y branches is the best part of bushcrafting. Why down? Hands down. You use Y branches for everything. Like if you're gonna have a forest of like straight sticks with a Y, <laughs> you're set. Well, you need the two kinds of Ys. So you, of course, you need the one Y that's like this, and then the one Y that's like this. If you have a forest of that, there's not much you can't do in life. No. No. I mean everything. Yep. Right. Clothes hangers. <laughs> you name it, you can do it. Do you think Wabash should sell beer? Uh, yeah. So in Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania is bizarre. Now it's starting to slowly change. But just a few years back, there was just a few grocery stores that had beer. Like yeah. grocery stores, not like convenience stores, grocery stores. Nice. Yeah. So you can go in there and they had a small section of beer and then they started to expand. But besides, this is go back a little bit more. So we have a store that you can buy six packs in, but you can only buy up to, I'm going to say a 12 pack. You can't go over that. So they actually look how much beer you're buying and say, oh, you're over so many ounces. You can't buy any more here. See ya. So you have to go, if you want more beer, to another store, which is called the Case Store. And that's where they sell cases of beer. Now, they don't sell beer, at least before, they didn't sell beer that was less than a 12 pack. So 12 pack and over at that store. Then if you're like, well, I want a bottle of whiskey to go with this, you had to go to the state store. (laughs) So if you're going to like get a bottle of whiskey, a case of beer, and then somebody want a a certain six pack, three stores. It was ridiculous. Yeah. And I just seen, I think in the sign in the Turkey Hill, they got their liquor license. So Turkey Turkey Hill Hill is. Yeah. People probably don't even know what that is. They're not from this area. Oh. Wawa. I didn't know Wawa didn't sell beer. Now, Sheets is around here, and they're selling beer. Um, okay. Your bamboo project, was that not weed that you used? Um, that's from Carrie W. The candles was not weed. That was Japanese wa- not weed. And then the recent salt and pepper shaker, salt and old bay shaker, that was actual bamboo. Like, that came from somebody obviously planted that because it was in a weird area. Um all right, what else do we got? Maple syrup. Is that survival food? 
are you going to make maple syrup for survival food? If we just don't have sugar maple trees in our area, so we were going to make bir- – we have a lot of birch. So we said, well, can we make birch syrup, which you can make? We just never really – dug into that too deep if there were sugar maples on the school property it would have been done already i have some of the stuff now of course i can't find it here i just said how organized i am i packed that stuff away i got all the tap stuff oh i didn't yeah. get the buckets but tap with the hook yeah at a yard sale that's cool so uh these guys how to construct a raised bed six feet with tarp well six feet Six feet. I mean, I would be afraid if. Uh, oh wow! Yeah. Six feet. That's pretty tall. Like that's that's a third of you. Yeah. And I fell on out of my hammock at three feet. No, a third person. of me is four foot. Yeah. What did you say? I wasn't listening. I was reading comments. <laughs> I blacked out. I think it's the pumpkin spice. It is probably the pumpkin spice. Okay. Um. Feet. I would have to think, see, so we don't worry too much around here at all about people, uh, not people, about wild boars or anything like that. So, I mean, I never really dove into that whole spectrum. I haven't get that elevated, but I can think about doing something like that. That'd be a fun project just to mess around with. Yeah. All right. Um, All right. That's really wild. I don't know if that's somebody else. What gear... (laughs) <laughs> guys don't do math you're not good at yeah we messed that all up right lily in the wild what does vash mean chaga beer vash is somebody they're talking to they're having their own conversation oh, I think. Okay. what's your biggest change you're thinking from when you what's the biggest change in your thinking from when you started um i would say overall from when i started to now before it was like this idea of what i wanted to do like idealistic stuff like oh i'm gonna go out and this is what it's gonna be like and i would just not think about anything else it was like so focused on this now i realize when i go somewhere and i'm gonna go on a trip not to have high expectations and set the stage almost and then get into what i want to get in so i think preparation so all that mumble jumble what i'm saying preparation overall i learned that over the years of doing this is the more prepared you are walking into any kind of like outdoor environment to do stuff, the better prepared you are. Yeah. Cause we learned really, really quick and in a hurry that. It's, yeah. I mean, just, it's like getting firewood, getting water, getting all your stuff set up, having what you need. That's, that is like, I have that dialed into a science almost now with myself. If I go somewhere, that is what I'm getting done. Then I'm going to go hang out with everybody because then anything else that happens, I'm like, I know I have a dry place. I know I'm somewhere comfortable to sleep. I know there's firewood. Like, that's it. And that's the worst. That sucks doing all that. That's the suckiest part of stuff. No, I don't even think setting a base camp. I mean, all the camp chores. It just gets like, oh my, again, I got to pick up wood. Like, you know, I get crazy at night because I'm, I like getting up early when I go out in the woods to get my coffee and I sit by a fire quiet. But my prerequisite to that is I'm like, somebody get firewood because I'm starting a fire tomorrow. And I get bonkers collecting firewood all the time. But, I mean, it's just part of it. So, yeah. All right. Um, what's our weather like now? Well, it actually warmed up. So, last time, we last Thursday, it was so cold. How brutal was it? I mean, it was like you, could, you went outside. We were talking about it. It was crazy. And then all of a sudden... We had a spike in temperature. Yeah, we could flip me. Super warm. Then dropped again. Snowstorm. Yeah. And then just it snowed. This morning. Then it like sort of now it's like thirty. Snow, yeah. yeah, like freezing rain. Yeah, so it's like thirty. Mm-hmm. I was out all day today. It was cool. I mean, if you had a fire I didn't have, I had a fire for one or two videos I had to do for um Yuko, but that was it. And then I mean it was pretty cool by the time I left there at like three thirty. So What's up? Oh, Jody. So Jody's one of our past students that we just can't get rid of. No. Um, <laughs> just comment. Um, Something about it. Yeah. I don't think it's sunny enough there to be tan. No, definitely yeah. not. I cheat. I go to a tanning bed just to keep this. And Do you still fun. go to tanning bed for real? Yeah. Um, All year? Yeah, I love the tanning bed. How tan are you? 
I don't know. I, you don't seem to. You got to use that lotion in the machine. No, I don't use lotion. Crisco. Just rub yourself down with Crisco and go in there, slide in all around in the booth. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. <clears throat> all right. What's my favorite cook set if I only had to pick one? I'll show you that cook set. Yeah. Got it right here. The Preston Mess Kit. Oh, yeah. What one do you think I was going to pull out? I thought you were going to go with your Swiss Miss, the one that I have. That square one. I do like that one. I'll show you some quick mess kits since you want to see them. People are like, we don't care about your mess kits. Yeah. This is from 1892. 1892. This is like a gem, a bushcrafting gem, right? So you have these two outer containers, right? So normal fry pan with a handle and then your pan itself. Now, if I can remember correctly. Oh, so this goes like this against this bottom latch. And actually, now you got to bear with me, guys. I haven't opened this kit for a while. Closes down. The only thing this kit is missing, because it is original, the only thing this kit's missing is there should be a little hinge here that slides across. And it locks it. And this was traditionally made during the First World War for officers, yeah. they would get a meat ration and they put their meat ration in this because it was sealed. It was like a Tupperware only oh, yeah. metal and put it away. And that fits on the outside of the canteen very nicely. And then you have the canteen that sort of nests in the cup. And then the cup goes like that. So that's my favorite. The whole reason that it's my favorite is because it's so old. They made a full one and a half one. I've not found. Um, I'm not sure. But I haven't found a lot of information on this half style. I found a lot of, on the full style. Oh, and then they give you a, uh, a fork that's real silver because I shined it up with silver polish when I got it. Wow. So that's probably my ultimate favorite cook kit. But besides that, because I don't really use that because it's too, it's too old. Oh, my God. I mean, over 100 years old. I, how are you going to take that around and use that? So other than that one, I don't Oh, here it is. They have me digging everything out. This is a Swedish cook kit? Yeah. So this thing, there's not many pieces to it. But, oh, there's all my spices. Pot. Smaller pot. And then this is like your eating area. So... This thing just, it works really, really well. And then I have spices in there. Old Bay, what do I have in there? Cayenne, sage, cinnamon, and garlic. Yeah, this is Tornus from 1956. This is my, that's my kit. I use that exact same kit. <clears throat> and I love it. Yeah, because it's square. Yeah, yeah. So it fits in with everything else. Yeah. That's what I like about it the most, too. Mm -hmm. So that's probably my favorite overall. Somebody, uh, asked, somebody just asked that. Do question. I eat soupies? Yeah. yeah. Do I have testosterone? Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay, what else? Um, what piece of gear have you had the longest and still use? I actually just used this today. I don't know if this is the piece I have the longest. I bought this cook kit from – I was shoveling snow to make money. That's what we used to do here in my town. And I uh, bought this cook kit. Now, there's a little pot that goes with it, but my kid currently has it. So I bought this probably when I was like 10, specifically to go in the woods with. I was like, I want a good cook set. So this is, off the top of my head, this is what I think of. But I don't, there might be something else. But again, cook sets is on my head. But is there anything else? The machete I showed last week's old, but that cook set, machete means a lot to me. But the cook set I bought myself, that was like, I need it for out in the woods. Um. All right. Have you ever thought of coming to the West Coast of Canada like Survival Lily? Um, I didn't know she came to West Coast of Canada, but I guess I won't be now. Um, Who's Survival Lily? <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. Um, if you're going to get dropped off on a desert island, can only take one single thing, what would it be? See, that's hard because you never dealt with desert conditions. I mean, you have to really research it first. Yeah, I'm not even sure what you would. You don't think it's, you know what I mean? Like that's, that's like saying, if you came to Pennsylvania from the Ozark. Do you even know what the Ozark's like? No. Okay. 
Um, if I had to be on a desert island, I would either take some kind of like desert island. I, yeah, I don't. There is no desert island, is there? I'm saying just all sand. I'm assuming that's what they mean, sand, some palm trees and stuff. I think desert. You think? Desert, okay, we're gonna have like to skip that. Ramp, no water. Well, uh, what I'm thinking is either some kind of like knife machete thing or water. Yeah. I mean, how long are you going to go there without water if you can't find water on the island? Yeah. Um, damn, look at all those Frost River bags. How many? <laughs> a lot. A lot. There's at least... Now, I have a couple more because I have some out in my van. One, two, three. I can't believe I'm pulling these out. Four, five, six. six. There's one under there. Seven. A lot. No. I just all organized. Now he's all organized, ready to go. Now he'll be here until three in the morning. So yeah, there's a lot there. <clears throat> Look like Canaan. Oh, deserted island. Oh. Well, you sort of got what I meant. Deserted island, still water or some kind of knife, I guess. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> okay. Water. Let's see. Um. <clears throat> The knife business is going good. We're building up our inventory, so we're going to be releasing them at the um, Great American Outdoor Show, so I'm excited about that. We'll have everything online. You'll be able to see it right away when that's coming out, so that will be um, like late January, and it's underway. So uh, over the next two weeks, I'm going to start get, making all the sheaths and stuff. The sheaths are going to be a little bit, I don't want to say different, leather sheaths. Um, pretty much what you guys would probably expect if you said I'm going to make a sheath. Um, they're pretty cool overall. I don't get that. Thoughts on LASIK surgery, etc. Dan's thoughts on LASIK surgery. Here's what I think. I don't know much about it. Um, <clears throat> other than a little bit of people I talked to that got it. I think if you're a good candidate for it, I think it's been around long enough. I'm all about using technology like that. I don't, I don't think there's anything no reason why I wouldn't go with that at all. Now, like I know, like my cousin got that done. Yeah. Perfect. Like he doesn't need glasses. Ed, Ed got Nothing. It done too. Oh, doesn't need, yeah, doesn't need glasses. So, and then uh, somebody else was it? Maybe my dad couldn't because he had astigmatism. Is that why? You can't, there's certain reasons they can't do. It, but I think that it's like so that. advanced now that stuff. It's like if they said, "Oh, we just came out with this, and now you're going to do it next week." Yeah. Probably want to wait a little bit. Because I have bifocals. And... Long johns for cool, wet climate. Um, minus 33 wool is really good. I'll be honest with you, though. I wear, literally, watch everything collapse. I wear, like, these things from Tractor Supply. Just the old school white long johns. All the time. All the time. And they're super comfortable for me. And even when they get damp... Or like if I'm wearing just like cotton pants and the cotton gets wet because cotton kills. I've never got to the point that I'm like, these are making me cold. Like I take them off and they're warm and they dry out real quick and they're 10 bucks a pair compared to heavy duty wool. So I have heavy okay. wool, but that's this, what I wear all the time. I don't wear glasses. I don't wear glasses at all. I don't. I'm, I'm supposed to wear them all the time, but it doesn't make you look any smarter. Kevin, I didn't try the super loaded coffee yet. I'm saving that for something. <laughs> but um, I drink – so last week we had a big coffee discussion. I don't know if you were on, Kevin. But um, I drink usually like a Sumatra coffee every morning. And then during the day I'll drink like a Honduras coffee. Um, but we do have some of your beers here. Well, one of your beers, the um, Chimay that you sent. So we're going to probably try that here soon. Uh, okay. What boots do I recommend? So I wore Danner Proghorns for years. I had, I was going to say six pair. I had four, four pair over like a seven year period. Like I would wear them all the time. The only downfall with them was it, it was like a heavy boot. So when I would start, when I started wearing them, my legs would literally get tired like halfway through the day. So um, it's not that I hated them. I just, I just didn't get another pair because I started to wear my bean boots. This is my backup pair. So I started wearing these like in colder weather. Now these don't have any insulation. And so you do need to take that in consideration. So if you have super cold feet, this isn't probably the best choice. I'll put a heavy wool sock on with this. Make sure you buy it oversized, waterproof, 
They look traditional. I love them. They feel really comfortable once you get used to walking in them. And then recently I switched over to um, Solomon boots, jungle boots. Now you would think jungle boots are going to be like low quality. They're no look, not low quality at all. I ran for years in Solomon running shoes. So I, I love the company. So that's what I wear. Solomon jungle boots and uh, L.L. Bean boots. So winter and then um, summertime. What's your feeling on WorkSharp? Uh, you going to chime in at all? Or you're just going to sit I, there I, and pretend you're reading. I'm just uh, reading. So yeah, I'm reading. the WorkSharp sharpening system, I'm assuming you're talking about. My one friend had one, and he used it on my machete years ago. I mean, it made the thing razor sharp. I haven't played around with it then any further than that one time with it. My only concern with it, if I can remember correctly, is I don't know if it has – I know there's different grades of it. I wouldn't go with the one that's not – I don't know if they make an adjustable speed. When you turn the thing on – I turn them on at Cabela's once in a while to just see what happens because they haven't plugged in, which is crazy. But they turn it on. I mean, it goes crazy hard. Now, if you can adjust that speed, it would probably be better. But I don't think there would be anything wrong with it overall for touching stuff up. The biggest thing with knives I can say that I learned over the years has honestly been to not let them get dull. Just you got to touch them up. I touch my knives up almost every evening. If I'm out all day to class, when I finally hunker down, if it's in my wall tent, if it's in my yurt, if it's in my sleeping bag, I bring out my sharpening stuff and touch my knives up. If I don't do it the first night, by the second night, I'm definitely touching it up. Or we're doing it while the students are doing some kind of field exercise. Hey, Jamie Bird. What's up, buddy? Compass. Yeah, can we say compass, Jamie? Compass. 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 <laughs> yeah, so that was a big controversy, and I listened. Somebody just, do you know who just said that? Jack at the gym the other day, yeah. and he said compass. Compass. Compass, not compass. 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 Well, I'm going to get the compass over here. <laughs> yeah. Great stuff. Um, what's my favorite wild game to eat? Uh, white-tailed deer. That's my favorite by far. I just killed some um, deer steak today for lunch. It's so packed with protein because, again, like I said last week, I measure out all my macros, so my protein, carbs, and fat. And, uh, man, that is so packed with protein. It's awesome, and it's it's great. What is it, 40 grams or something? Uh, I ate, like, what did I eat? No, eight ounces, and there was, like, 50-some grams of protein. Oh, wow. It was pretty packed. Yeah. Nice. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't think you're right. Don't ever cheap on your boots. Um, the what's the best way to carry beer into the bush? In Just, your belly. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, if, here's the problem. If you're going to be hiking around and it's going to be getting bounced around, I mean, you got to take cans almost, which is not always the best thing. But, uh, otherwise, I mean, if you can wrap the stuff up in your blanket, I mean, I've done that before already. I just wrapped in my blanket. Otherwise, just try to camp somewhere you can take a cooler. Then they're nice and cold all night for you. And watch the freeze factor because they explode. Trust me, I found out. <laughs> <laughs> pop, 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 pop. All right. What's a good camp stove? We are in PA and going on an overnight or next weekend's 28th here. I'm looking to buy a camp stove for inside the tent. Cool. When you say camp stove, are you looking like hot tent or are you looking to actually cook stuff on the stove? You're going to have to let us know that. What I would say, um, if I had to just pick a stove, I don't use, I use a big Coleman, like the majority of the time when I have a little Coleman, like the multi-fuel, um, Coleman stoves. So, that grill, you know, the little one, <clears throat> that grill, like, like, a, it's almost like a George Foreman grill, but it's by Coleman. That one that Gasper brought. I know, but you can't, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have no idea what that is. Because it's gas. You're not, you're not really working with, you know, flame because it's hidden underneath the thing. So you're, I would say, I mean, if if you're if you're looking for something lightweight and very compact, like go to Cabela's where, like, uh, they have all the backpacking stoves, which them things heat up water and they, they cook fine. I use them sometimes, um, just small camp stoves. Now, I have, like, the older style ones, um, but... You can also just buy the bigger Coleman ones at Walmart, 
and then you just fill them up with some fuel and light them. And I mean, them things boil water and they cook just like a stove at the house. Um, where are your full body red long johns? I still have them. Are they here or not? I don't know. They're, I think they're over at my house and, um, I'll be breaking them out here pretty soon. All right. Uh, what else? Hot tent. Oh, um, a snow trekker stove. I had one now for five years. It stays outside 24 seven. And, uh, I mean, the thing gets rusty, but it just, it, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt it or anything. I usually just run some seal wool or a wire brush on it and it's fine. So look at snow trekker. Um, they have all the different sizes there. I have the large size and that is good enough for my yurt like way way good enough for my yurt so i would say to uh check them out snow trekker i don't know tell them i sent you over i have no relationship with them at all but i like their stoves linda clark bass turd i don't know just don't even pay attention to them comments all right so um so I think that'll probably pretty much be it for all of the comments, questions, stuff like that. Uh, we're online for that because uh, you're too distracted. I, well, I'm trying to read comments. And Nose deep. Nose deep in there. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so, I mean, this was overall, I think, another successful bushcraft episode. Yeah. Beers and bushcraft. I'm enjoying it. So uh, beer, thumbs down for me. Roger. I think it's just the whole pumpkin thing because I like ales. I think the other beers we got like a red ale and we yeah. got a some kind of porter or something. That porter, yeah. that coffee cow, and then we have that Chimay beer in there. So we'll try that one. So we have a <laughs> bunch of different stuff um, coming up. So it should be pretty good. Video quality, again, I know it's a little bit poor. I definitely want to get that bumped up. So I have the equipment that I have to get for that. And then I got to get it all set up and we will be audio better lighting better we changed our lighting up a little bit but as i'm looking at it i like how he's lit i'm not i'm too much yeah. i got too much white on me too much reflection from the top light so we'll have to knock that down but i think for our second beers and bushcraft episode overall pretty good, good deal. Yeah, I like it. way good <laughs> so uh i guess that's about it yeah what a closing comments you got um well, you know, just go out and be in the woods, be safe, try something new, but be smart. Yeah. And hey, Bush Drinking Shirts now in stock, so check them out. So until now, next week, we're going to, if we do anything, it'll just be quick for maybe the wall tent or the yurt or something like that. If we don't do it, don't hold us against us just because we're going to be at a class. So um, we will be back definitely the following week at the same location by then we should probably have a lot more of the upgate updated equipment i'm going to need that back for my neck then okay. just to have it so we'll have the updated camera equipment i'm almost positive by then and we'll be able to roll it out so uh this was dan and dan and, dan. and bad pumpkin beer we didn't even finish our beers so like i always like to say until the next episode stay in the woods all right, how we shut this thing down?